throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. This video contains mentions of rape and sexual assault. Viewer discretion is advised. Demons come in all shapes and sizes, and more often than not, are nefarious in nature, performing all manner of cruel acts upon human beings they happen upon. One could argue, however, that no other demon of mythology is as heartless and utterly violating to humans than the Incubus. A truly evil creature, the Incubus, and its female counterpart the Succubus, is a nocturnal demon that seeks out sleeping humans and sexually assaults them. The depravity of an Incubus knows no bounds. It assaults its victims on not only the physical level, but on the spiritual as well. Victims of an Incubus attack are put into a deep sleep, similar to a coma, where it is extremely difficult to awaken. The monster then appears to the victim in their dreams, often taking the form of the person that they desire most. While the victim has a euphoric experience in their dreams, the demon has its way with them in the waking world. Some legends say that as the Incubus attacks their victim, they gradually drain them of both their physical and mental energies. The Incubus will revisit the same victim repeatedly until their very life force is drained from their body and their soul is damned. Truly a terrifying concept, but it is said that an Incubus, while powerful in its own right, can be fairly easy to defeat in hand-to-hand -hand combat, preferring to take flight rather than fight. But an incubus would more than likely return to the victim the following night, like a depraved moth to the flame of flesh. As an unholy demon, the incubus is said to be repelled by holy relics and sacred words. Making the sign of the cross, saying a Hail Mary, reciting biblical scripture, attending confession, and saying prayers by night could hold incubi at bay. An exorcism is also believed to be an effective method of defeating them, though at least one Christian priest, Ludovico Maria Sinistrari, had argued would be ineffectual because incubus demons, quote, do not obey exorcists, have no dread of exorcisms, show no reverence for holy things, at the approach of which they are not in the least overawed. This starkly contrasts with the belief of the time that one's faith may be enough to hold demons and evil spirits at bay. How terrifying it must have been if alleged experts on demons and unholy beings of the time could not agree upon how an incubus can be fought off. The idea of a monster or demon preying upon sleeping humans is as old as civilization itself, perhaps even older. We are at our most vulnerable when we sleep, so it may be rather easy to assume something in the dark would come after us as an easy opportunity. In Mesopotamian mythology, the Lalu is a demon said to disturb and seduce women while they sleep, while his female counterpart, Lalitu, appears to men in their erotic fantasies. In folklore from Zanzibar, off the coast of Tanzania, the Popobawa is an evil spirit that sexually attacks men and women behind closed doors. Chilote mythology has El Troco, a repulsive dwarf who seduces young women and impregnates them. Hungarian folklore has the Lyders, a creature that appears in the form of a haunting light 
and enters a home by night, appearing as a lost love. Brazilian legends tell of the Bocho, a demon with traits similar to a siren and an incubus, who appears as a river dolphin by day, but by night takes the shape of a charismatic man who seduces young women and takes them into the river. Germanic folklore has the Alp, a small imp that perches on a sleeping person, causing nightmares and violating them in indescribable ways. Though the Incubus takes many forms across world mythology, the unifying trait is its horrid tendency to assault humans during the night. The Incubus and Succubus are sometimes said to be one and the same being, rather than male and female counterparts. In these legends, the Incubus is a gender-fluid entity, shifting its form as needed depending on its prey. A succubus would be able to sleep with a man and collect his sperm, and then transform into an incubus and use that seed on women. Though some legends claim that incubus and other similar nighttime monsters are incapable of reproducing with humans, other legends claim it is a very real possibility. The offspring of a demon and a human union is referred to as a cambium. Some old horror stories held that the children were half human and half beast, some described with two mouths, two heads, six fingers, two sets of teeth, four eyes, three hands, and three feet. Others were missing limbs or had one eye in the middle of the forehead, while others had no human form at all but were shapeless masses like sponges. There are some stories, however, when a Cambion is granted mystical powers. In the Sumerian's King List, the hero Gilgamesh was said to be sired by Lailu, and went on to become a powerful king of Uruk with superhuman strength and bravery. Arthurian legend tells of a nun who was impregnated by an incubus or a similar demon. The child born inherited his mother's good heart as well as his father's magical abilities. The child would grow up to be called Merlin, a powerful sorcerer famed for his role in the story of King Arthur. The Incubus is unique among the myriad of monsters and demons that lurk in mythology. Many monsters that attack human beings will kill humans, torture them for sport, perhaps even eat them. But the Incubus is different. Rather than injuring people in the traditional sense, making them bleed or consuming their flesh, an incubus hurts people in body, mind, and spirit, draining them slowly through forced sexual contact. For centuries, demons have been artistic representations of the worst nightmares of mankind, and the incubus has long been held as an embodiment of depravity of sexual lust driven to the point of predatory evil, and ranks among the most disturbing demons ever conceived.